Hey everybody, Jose Gardner here with Long Range Tactics. Today I'm going to go over how to sight in your scope with no laser bore sight in 10 rounds or less. Okay, so as I mentioned, today we're going to go over the process of how I sight in my scopes uh, with no laser bore sight uh, in hopefully 10 rounds or less. I'm going to try to keep it to about 8, but we'll see. Um, so I see a lot of people, hear a lot of people, uh, they go buy a gun or maybe just a scope, uh, you know, at your local sporting goods store, uh, and they pay to have them, uh, the store, go ahead and mount it and level it and laser bore sight it. And some of these stores will charge 25 50 bucks or more just to use a laser bore sighter. And frankly, uh, it's just not necessary. If you do a little bit of the effort yourself, um, it's just a lot more uh, to me satisfying to do all the work myself. And you can trust that you did the work and that it was done right. Uh, so to go over the process a little bit, um, I'm not gonna go over how to mount the scope. Um, hopefully that'll become another video. But basically once you make sure your scope is level, uh, and mounted obviously uh, then you kind of go through I have a little bit of a process of essentially bore sighting it uh, myself and as you'll see on the video there's a target at 25 yards a clean target another target at 100 yards uh, and basically you shoot at 25 yards uh, with the goal of the rule of thumb being you want to be perfect left and right and one inch down. Now, if you wanna go into your calculator and figure out what your uh, drop is from 25 to 100 yards, you can do that. But the rule of thumb is, if you sight in at exactly one inch low at 25 yards, most guns that have a two inch over bore height center fire gun is gonna be about right at 100 yards. It'll definitely get you on where you're on paper, uh, probably very close uh, to center reticle. So, a couple of notes. Uh, just some things that I look at before I get started. Most scopes that are going to have an internal elevation adjustment of more uh, than 100 MOA or equivalent, whatever that equivalency is in mils, um, especially if you have a 20 MOA rail or have any cant built into your rings, you're actually going to find that from out of the box, right now this is out of the box settings, um, out of the box you're actually going to have to dial down, which means if your scope has a zero stop, you're actually going to have to give yourself some ability to dial down. So what I did, uh, if you're familiar with the Burris knobs, I actually just raised my turret up. Well right now I'm still at that factory setting of up and down, but I can dial down from where it's at. So just realize if you have a lot of internal elevation in your scope um, and a 20 MOA rail or anything built in your rings, you're probably going to have to dial down from center. Uh, the way I get a, a basically a kind of a, a manual bore sight is what I'm going to do is see here I'm on a good rear bag and everything. At 25 yards there I'm going to look down my bore from behind the scope from behind the stock here and I'm going to put my barrel using the bag to where I'm, I'm pretty much aiming the barrel straight at the center target and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to dial to where my reticle is slightly above the center of the target. And I come back here and check. Barrel still at the center of the target. Right now I'm a hair right. I mean I mean a hair high and a good bit right. So I'm gonna dial again to try to get that sucker pretty close to center. Check it one more time. Now I'm looking down the center of my barrel, and my scope is perfect left and right and a hair high. So that's where I'm gonna take my first shot. Um, so you, we'll film from here out where this is gonna go, but basically what you're gonna see me do is take a shot, adjust to where I, I'll either use my reticle, or if you just have a normal duplex, another tip for you is uh, to remember that at 25 yards, every click is gonna be worth four times more than it is at 100. And what I mean by that is if your scope says that it's four clicks equals an inch at 100 yards, at 25 yards, it's 16 clicks equals an inch or four clicks equals a quarter inch. So just keep that in mind. You're going to be making big adjustments at 25 yards. Uh, make sure you adjust to get to that um, one inch low uh, and then we'll take her on out to 100 yards. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot at 25 yards uh, and we'll look at the process from there. Okay, so something else I forgot to mention before we get down here and shoot real quick. You see I've got my lab radar set up. A lab radar is really great uh, for being off your gun and not kind of affecting your point of impact while you're taking speed. So in these eight rounds that I would shoot here, that'd be eight really good data points uh, to get my speed. However, 
uh, if you use a magneto specifically, uh, my recommendation is that you use the magneto for the, any of the 25 yard shoot. And if it does take you more than two shots, that's fine. Uh, gather your speed at 100 yards. Basically shoot with your magneto to make sure you're pretty close to center. By that point, you've either got three or four shots. And frankly, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna tell you a great ES or SD, but it's gonna be pretty close to average. You can go ahead and whip off that magneto uh, and take the rest of your refining shots at 100 yards. Um, and you'll have both a decent average to use for your data and speed. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead, I haven't pulled the trigger on this gun. Uh, some background I haven't given you. This isn't some crazy custom gun, fancy scope or, or custom made ammo. I literally have a Kelbley Coda here. It's a production rifle, a three to 18 uh, Burris that I have shot before, but I actually reset it to factory settings on purpose just for the point of this uh, video. And then factory American gun Hunter, uh, Hornady 140 grain boat tails. Uh, nothing crazy. This is an out of the box setup, and just to show that this can be done fairly easily. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first shots at 25 yards. And as you can see on the video, it looks like I am about an inch and a half right and a half inch high. Uh, with the mills here, it basically comes out to about 0.3 high, about 1.2 right. So I'm gonna go left obviously here. Um, and then go down. Basically one mil. And we'll shoot again. We'll see where this next shot lands on video. And as you see, sometimes we screw up pretty bad and I dialed the wrong direction, so. I'm now two and a half right and where I want to be up and down, I'll actually dial the correct direction this time. And I'm going to leave well enough alone trusting that I am in fact one inch low and dialed the correct distance this time. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and move out to 100 yards. All right, so now that we shot at 25, got it kind of bore sided. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take shots at 100. Uh, the rule of thumb, typically, it's gonna be three shot group is gonna be a good enough data. Um, depending on how precision the rifle and the ammo is, you know, if I take two shots and they're touching and I felt good about the trigger break and everything, I might forego the third shot before I make an adjustment. But what I really recommend here is three shots. Make your adjustment for what you think is 100 yards, three more shots, um, and then if you have to adjust it, uh, you can and shoot another shot or two just to confirm. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take my shots. As we can see in this video, if I use my reticle here, I'm about 0.4 low and half a mil right. So once again, I'm gonna dial left and actually dial correctly left this time. I'm gonna dial up 0.4. Now we're going to take three more shots. Pause while I get my other magazine. So, like I said, I've made my corrections and we're going to send three more.
So it looks like those shots are in the black, so I'm gonna get up and actually look at the film, which I'll already be watching and make my decision. But best I can tell, looks like I'm about a click left. I should have went 0.4 instead of five and about a click high. Um, so at this point, we could adjust that, uh, adjust that out of it. So I'd probably go down one, uh, right 0.1. Um, and go ahead and reset my turrets and then I'd use my last two rounds to just confirm that zero. So after evaluating, looking at the film real quick, um, it kind of looks like I'm almost half a click too high. Uh, my personal preference, I'm not telling you to do this, is I tend to leave mine. I'd rather be just a hair high a center than low a center, so I'm gonna leave my high alone. Um, and I'd rather be a hair left a center than right a center. So I'm actually gonna click one click right, not touch my elevation. Um, and see where this last uh, two rounds goes and that'll be our 10 shots. So best I can tell there, I actually went just a hair right of center. It could have been form. Uh, but I mean, I'm really within that kind of half an inch um, of center. So there you go. That was 10 rounds. A fairly easy process. No paying or trusting the guys at your local department store that probably don't know near as much as you do. Um, hope that helped. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, make sure you follow uh, Long Range Tactics for any other how-tos, uh, reviews we got and everything. Uh, thanks for your time.